What up guys, here we're going to be taking a look at some headphones for your Xbox 360 and MP3 playing. These are the Triton Detonators. Stupid name, but these are made by Mad Cats. If you recognize that name, they make a lot of products for the PS3 and Xbox, more budget products. Now these are not budget headphones, these are about 80 bucks. Now they're worth the price, we'll find out. Uh, make sure if you do like this video to like and favorite and subscribe if you like. So let's get to the review. Alright guys, so we're going to look at some of the features and pros on these headphones. Now let's start off with the headphone itself. It's made pretty decently, I mean it doesn't feel cheap. At least not only for one thing, and I'll show you that later on. Not too much padding, but still comfortable. Um, it seems, you know, they went a little cheap on the padding, but still a comfortable pair of headphones. Made pretty sturdy, surprisingly. Um, you know, adjustable like all the rest, you know what I'm saying? And one of the cool features that I like about them is the fact that you could take off the mic. Because if you're doing gaming and you're not doing Xbox Live or something, you don't need the mic on to talk, it's kind of sometimes in the way, so the fact that you could take it off, Pretty cool. Yeah, another thing I like about these, for the fact that you can take this off, is you can use these for regular headphones for your MP3. And the sound quality is really good. I mean, the sound quality, is for, if I have to compare it to some headphones, is headphones that are worth about maybe $60 to $40. So, for being a gaming headphone, the quality is really great. I have an Evo phone for Sprint, and the sound quality is always bad depending on what headphones I use. And they actually sound really good and really loud with these headphones. Okay, and the stereos on these are 50 mm. I forgot what the mm stand for. Compared to the let's say Turtle Beach X11 that has 40. Um, so these are sim very. This pretty much the same as the X12. They both have the same stereo. Now, what I think is one of the best selling points of these headphones is the main component you connect everything to and you control your volume. Again, you have your game volume, your chat volume. And you connect your headphones here and the connection, the, the mic part that you connect to your remote for chat. Now these three buttons, what they do is, if you want to mute your game right away, you can just press the mute button. You don't have to go all the way and put it all the way down. And that's pretty cool. And then you have your mic mute. And then you have your SVM. What that is pretty much is, if you don't want to hear yourself when you're on the mic, you could turn, you could leave it off. But if you want to hear yourself talk so you're not yelling, if you have full volume on your headphones, you could turn it on. So when you're talking, you hear yourself on the headphones as well. Now, some people don't like it, some people do, so they did that more as a preference button, and that's actually a pretty cool feature. The wire on this is 14 feet, so it's a bit long, but all these headphones with wires, they're always a bit long because they put a lot of wire just in case you're far from your TV. Of course, these are USB powered, so you have to plug these into your Xbox. Alright guys, so we looked at the pros, now let's look at the cons. Again, let's start off with the headphones. Like I said, these headphones are made pretty good, they're pretty sturdy. But for some reason, they go cheap on this product. Like on the top is rubber. I don't know why they went with that, because it's really uncomfortable when you have the headphones. It could pull your hair a little bit, and it seems like it's glued, not stitched, because it's rubber. And I do not like that at all. This is out uh, the headphones. This is what we don't like. Um, the padding, like I said, is not a big problem in my, in my pros. But it's, it was made pretty cheaply. They, again, they went cheap on some things on the headphones, including the wire. This wire seemed like it would get damaged pretty quickly. Now, for me, this is a con because, like I said, if you need these, these are good. But I have no use for these. And it seemed like the full price of this was added to the headphones price. These are normally cost about 20 bucks. And these headphones are about $20 more than the Turtle Beach. They're pretty much the same type of headphones. So don't like these. Feel like it should not have been there. Don't know why they did it. The pros on these, these can be used for music. The cons, these are not used for PC gaming at all. These are only for Xbox and music listening. So if you're looking for something you can use for your Xbox and your PC, these are not for you. And again, I use mine for both, so another negative for me. Now, I do like the fact that you can take this off, but again, like the headphone, they made it cheap. This seems like it's cheap plastic, you know, it could break pretty easily, you know, if you like don't take care of it really good. It's flexible, but just seems, again, a little cheaply made. They could have spent a few extra dimes to make it better. And that seems to be a repeating factor with these headphones. They go cheap on them, 
where they could just spend a little extra money and these could have been one of the best headphones for the price. Now, the component that goes into your Xbox remote and the main component on this, again, look at it. It looks just like the cheap ass shit you get for when you buy an Xbox. The, the mic it comes with it, it seems the same exact way. And it is pretty much. It's cheaply made. Um, again, the wire don't seem as cheap as the wires here, but still not great. But just feel really cheap. And if for some reason you use a keyboard, I mean, key, you know, the keypad for your remote, these will not work because these are too big. But don't like these, they feel really cheap. Yeah, guys, so you saw my pros, my cons, some of the features. And these headphones are depending on your what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for a good headphone for the Xbox and for music listening for the MP3, these might be for you. But if you're looking for something you can play on your PC gaming and your Xbox, these are not for you. Now, just like I said, these are actually pretty cheaply made um, for the price. I don't like the wires and most of the things this comes with. I don't like the attachment it comes with for your Xbox remote. And overall, I don't like the attachment it brings as well, the one you put in directly to your Xbox. I don't need it. Don't see myself watch that spend an extra $20 on these headphones compared to the competition with something I'm not going to use. Yeah, so I personally don't need a new pair of headphones. So again, another feature I do not need. Now, if you're not looking to put insurance on these headphones or on your headphones that you buy, then I don't recommend these because, again, it's really cheaply made. I guess some mad cats of... Just like what they make, they make cheap products, and I feel for what you're paying for, it could have been made a little better. If they would have spent a little extra money on these headphones, it could have been definitely one of the top headphones for the price. But because they went cheap, I cannot recommend these. Um, overall, I'd better go with the, X, the X11 personally than these. But the X12 are still much better headphones than these, um, especially if you're looking for PC gaming, better quality headphones. Sound wise, the same features. I like the features on this one better, but with all the drawbacks, the unnecessary things on these headphones, I can't recommend them. But guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like and favorite. Hit that subscribe button to be updated on more videos that I come out with. And yeah, thank you for watching guys. Peace.